Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this quick video, we're going to show you how to print labels for your products that you've imported into Finale Inventory. Finale has many different ways to print labels, so I'm going to cover a few of them here. It's not all of them, but uh, we'll cover the basics. So let's switch over to Finale Inventory, the recognizable home screen here. You may be wondering, well, how do you print a label for your items that you have? Maybe you've already uploaded your stock. Um, or your products and you're wondering how do I get a label. So up at the top uh, there is a reports and then there is a label option here. So if you go here it takes you straight to the label tab of the reports menu. So you notice also there's a reports. So sometimes if you just click on reports it, it drops you to the reports tab and many times people don't see the labels here. So you can actually just click on the labels tab as well. You'll notice that there are the default labels that are set up with Finale Inventory. Now these are not um, all of the possibilities, but these are the ones that are set up by default. So for instance, if you need a customized label, you can contact service at finaleinventory.com and we'll help you create a label for your particular need or size or print type. But uh, we include these basics, so I will let you know that there is a 1 inch by 2 and 5 eighths inch, what we call the short code for stock item, and then you'll see the same thing, and it says non-stock. And you may say, what's the difference? Um, you'll also see that we have kind of the exact same thing as a 5160 product short code non-stock and stock item. So here we see some concepts here about short codes and then you see something that says product ID barcode. Now the 5160s are just a short um, prefix for the Avery label template. So this is an address Avery label. This is also an address size. These ones without the 5160 in front, these are for like a direct uh, thermal label printer or your um, brother labels or your dymos. Those are what these are used for. So they're one at a time labels and these are sheet type labels, meaning there's multiple labels per one sheet of paper. So the 5160s are used for that, and these other ones are used for just your direct label printing. So I've talked about two things here. We've talked about short codes and stock and non-stock. So what's a short code? So Finale, when you create a part number, we have what we call a short code, which is the internal um, barcode scan key for your items. So in case your items do not have UPCs, um, we create an internal UPC that Finale creates and we call that the short code. So that's what that is. And then you may say, well, what's the difference between a product ID barcode and a short code? The barcode label or the, the barcode on the label for a product ID is going to be an exact barcode representation of the product ID itself. It's not going to be a UPC. It's going to be whatever your product ID is, is what the barcode will contain. Versus a short code barcode or a short code label, that barcode on that label will be the actual um, internal Finale UPC that's generated for your item. All right, so that's a little clarification there. So we started this out, how do I print a label for my item? So if I were to pick this top one here, it's for stock item. So it says stock item. That should be a really um, a tip here. So it's really going after the stock table, the stock table, which is where we, we store how many of a particular item you have and where it's located. So now you can imagine what's going to happen if I try to print a label for an item that I don't have in stock. So meaning there's nothing there, all right? So right now we really only have one product in the database. I could just hit print, and if I don't select a product, it would print a label for every product in the database. But if you notice, this test database only has one. So if I say I'm gonna print this product here, and I say print, it's gonna ask me how many do I want. I will say one, and then it's gonna give me this label. Now if you see this, it comes out with nothing. So once again, I was kind of introducing that concept of stock items, 
non-stock items. It doesn't mean, um, not quite doesn't mean items you don't carry, but really non-stock meaning, hey, non-stock would be your, all of your products irregardless of whether you have any quantity on hand or not. And stock items is only the items that you have stock of or quantity on hand. So here we tried to produce a label using the stock item for an item we don't have in stock and I did not get my label. So let's go back over here. Let's take you back to the um, products page. So I have one product here and if I go to the stock table I have the product but I have none available which is the reason why if I use a stock label or stock item label I'm not going to get anything because there's none on hand. So let's go back. If I go back to reports and labels, let's try and run the same report, but this one says non-stock, which means this report will print a label for any product that you have, irregardless of whether you have it in stock or not in stock, because it's coming from the product table, not the stock table. So if I do the same thing here, I could print one and it would print a label for everything that I have in the database, or I can go after a specific one. Okay, so if I say give me one label, now this time you're going to see information because we're printing it from the product table. There's your label. Now it doesn't have a description because I didn't type a description on the product. Well, let's go show you that. So if I go back to the products and I click on this product here, test product, you'll see I don't have one. So if I say test product for a demo, I've updated the, the description here. So let's go back and we'll see the changes. So I'll go back to my label and I'll pick the non-stock because we don't have any in stock. You'll see it now has an actual description on it. And if I print a label, it will give me the description below the barcode. There's our test product. So that's the basics of how do you print a label. So I'm also gonna show you though that there's another way to do print labels. So if we go back to our products page and you actually click on this, you'll see that at the top it says here no items on hand, which means you don't have any stock. There's also a link here by default, print labels for items in stock. So you know what's going to happen. This link is actually connected to that stock report. So it's connected to this one that prints this right here. So you don't have any on hand, so that's not going to work. But let's see what happens if we actually put something in, in stock. So I'm just going to go do a stock change real quick to kind of demonstrate this to you. So if I add one, I'm going to add, well, let's add five to stock. So I'm going to add five into stock, so now we have five on hand. If I go back to my inventory, let's go to the stock. You'll see that now I have five on hand. So what would happen if I uh, click on this product? And notice now we have five on hand. So now there's an action menu here and I can actually print labels for items in stock. Same thing. These two are the same label. So if I print right here, I can say give me one or maybe I want to say give me five. Give me one for each one that I have in stock. And you'll see now, now that it's in stock, I actually get results. So that's the same thing. So you'll see that this is actually a link. These two here are linked. And let's go back to the reports, labels. So this time, if I pick this stock item label, you'll see it's the exact same label. Okay, so if I print this and I say print one or five or ten, so I can say give me ten of them, even though we only have five in stock, it's still just going to print me ten labels. So now that label is working. And it's working because there is stock on hand. Now, now that there's stock on hand, can you still use the non-stock label? The answer is yes. So if I go to the non-stock, it will still print, irregardless of whether you have stock on hand or not. It's just because it's coming from the product table. So I can choose to print more than one if I want, and you'll see it looks the same. So I'm getting labels, irregardless whether you're non-stock or stock, I can get a label um, on those conditions. Now, the other piece of advice here is that if I'm looking at how to print labels, would I be concerned? Why wouldn't I just always per pick the non-stock label? Because it's always going to produce a label. That would be most of the time true unless you are using stock-specific um, items such as a serial number 
or a lot number or a batch number, or you have case stock where there is different packings. So remember, if you're using case stock or different packings on your items or lot numbers, the actual barcode that comes out is going to be explicitly related to the type of stock that you have on hand because you could have one of a product on hand that has a packing of 6 to a case and another box that has packing of 12 to a case but it's the same product. The only way we'd know which is different is by the stock item. So you would want to always produce that label or that type of label from the stock item. So that you will learn as you move forward in your um, progression with Finale Inventory. But that's a quick uh, demonstration of how to actually print labels out of Finale.